It's my favorite Jeopardy event, although admittedly I am a little biased. Welcome to the final wager. I'm Keith Williams. It's the 2016 College Championship with 15 student athletes. Can I call them athletes? Jeopardy is kind of a sport. I mean, you stand up all day, playing, buzzing in. You have to be fast. You have to think fast. Chris is certainly an athlete. Rugby's a tough sport. Uh, I played Ultimate Frisbee. It doesn't really count for anything. But we'll leave that for later. Uh, Adam, 6400, University of Virginia. Missed a clue about the University of Virginia on a daily double. Not a big deal. It happens. There just happened to be something going on at your school that you didn't know about. And uh, let's just try to... I don't think I knew about that in college either. Uh, that's one reason I'm happy I went on in the era before social media, because uh, I had some answers that would have gotten... Yeah, it would have been good. Emily from uh, Columbia University, I should say. 10,900. <clears throat> She's in the lead. Fellow freshman like I was back in the day. They were like freshmen back in. Everyone's in contention. One of the things I did today was put up a synthesis of, what was it, 17, 18 college championships, I think, and all the quarterfinal non-winning scores to see what players should do to maximize their chances to take a wild card spot if they can't win the game. If this were a normal game, Emily would go for the lockout, Chris and Adam would just go all in, and then we'd see who gets it right and who gets it wrong. But there are these wild card spots in play. Chris and Adam should probably just go for everything. Uh, those scores aren't very good historically for a wild card spot. Over the last uh, 10 years, I think, it's been right in the 10,000 to 15,000 range. So these are nowhere near that. So I go all in uh, either way. So I'm going to say, I'm just going to say 5,000 for Carissa or 4,900, something like that. Maybe leave something in the, in the bank just in case. Uh, Adam, I wouldn't be surprised if Adam went for, you know, to win by a dollar. So that'd be what, 4501? A little bit extra downside. I don't know if I'd leave that on the table, that extra 1899. Emily, I assume, is going to go for the lockout. So for 12, 8, that's going to be uh, 1900, right? 1901. Although the other thing she could do is keep Carissa locked out and really just force Adam to get it right. I would probably prefer that out of her right now. So that would be at most 899. I like that because there's only one way you're losing. If Adam gets it right, you get it wrong, and Adam wagers enough to cover you, which he probably will. If you get it wrong, you don't open yourself up to a second possibility of losing. In a normal game, yeah, me, you wouldn't want to risk that because why would you take a crush and then uh, voluntarily give up the win? But here I think it's a smart play. I'm fine either way, though. It's her choice. And, uh, you know, I didn't see an Elite commercial tonight. When I went to pause it, I went right from Wheel of Fortune to Alex starting to talk, so I got a little confused. I hope Elite is still sponsoring this thing. That'd be terrible. Hi, I'm Alex Jacob, and I'm a Elite spokesperson. That'd be a great combination. Begin the week with U.S. Natural Wonders. Here is the clue for you, players. Teddy Roosevelt called it... The one great sight which every American should see. You have 30 seconds. Good luck. Oh, natural wonders. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, no. Well, if it were me... It would be that, so I'm going to stick with that. I don't know, I'm torn here. I'm going to stick with that, because it's the only place I've ever been that was... I felt like it was over high, overly hyped, but then it was actually way cooler than I expected. California, you flew right over it, Robert. We start with you, Carissa. You had $5,000. You were in third place. You said, what is Yellowstone National Park? And that is wrong. How much did you lose? You risk a $5,000. Right. Let's right. go to Adam now. $6,400. He's not looking very happy, because he wrote down Old Faithful... And that is long, we know. And that will cost him everything yeah. he had. Interesting. Emily, it's up to you now. You come up with a correct response. 
No, you did not. You picked Yosemite. The correct response is the Grand Canyon. How much is it going to cost, Emily? Just a little bit. Nineteen. All right. It's a good wager. So, congrats, Emily. That's uh, that's tough to win a quarterfinal game as a freshman, especially against two players who are very strong. Carissa was very good. She just uh, had a few too many guesses. Kind of took her out toward the end there. That was a tough clue, too, just because Teddy Roosevelt is so intimately connected with Old Faithful and the national park system as a whole. You know, it kind of predated him. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. This is, as I said, one of my favorite things, and not just because I was on it, um, because it's cool to see how kids who are 18 to 21 or 22 perform under pressure. I mean, it's it's not easy to get in front of a camera. Well, I mean, I am right now, but I don't have 10, 15 million viewers like Jeopardy does, and putting yourself out there, there's a lot to be said for that. And you know, Adam and Carissa did really well. Then we moving on, and uh, starting off low with our wild card hunt, but uh, we'll see. It's a long week, and I hope you'll join me tomorrow right here on The Final Wager.